what's up everyone it's a girl dia back with another video i'm in the back in my staff room you know and i just was really thinking about i think and, and it's something that i think a lot of us go through whereby we feel as though we have all the discipline in the world to get up and go to a nine to five job but we don't have any discipline when it comes to self development when it comes to doing things that i would say like we want to do like wh whether it's like a business whether it's self-development as in going to the gym maybe reading books like gaining knowledge learning we don't have any any discipline when it comes to that for instance everyone knows like and, and it's a lot of memes where it's like we wake up in the morning like we don't want to go to work like we put our alarms on snooze but we still go anyway but then when it comes to doing certain things like let's say going to the gym we don't stay we we don't go like if we don't feel like going to the gym then we're not going on but then we're not going to go to the gym if we don't feel like reading a book then we're not going to go to a book like if we don't feel like doing the research then we don't do the research but when it comes to a nine to five job, you don't want to go, but we still go anyway. And I'm like, why is that so? Like, I understand that at the end of the day, the nine to five job pays the bill, right? And I think maybe that that's really what it is. I think it's the fact that so the nine to five job pays the bill. And whatever we do, other than that, it's not for certain. And I think that's why a lot of us get caught up in the system loopholes because we just wanna, we want the now. We want something that is like right now. And when you're thinking about like being completely like successful in what you do, like entrepreneurs mindset, billionaires, millionaires, like they put in the work and they were unsure, you know, they in hopes that it works out. And I think a lot of people like the regular person, they they don't want that. You know, they're not spending any time in anything if it's not for certain that they're gonna make their profits if it's not for certain that they're going to see the result and i want to come here today so don't let it be you and i am also guilty of that as i find it so hard to work on myself but i get up every morning bright and early like i get up sometimes six o'clock i like my husband told me the other day like what do you mean like when you was at school you had to wake up five o'clock to go to centennial college why now all of a sudden now you can't go to the gym? Why all of a sudden now you don't have time or you can't do this, you can't do that? You know, so it's all a mind thing. And then once we can overcome our mind and staying consistent and disciplined in everything that you do, at the end of the day, that is what's going to make you like, it's going to set you apart from, from others. It's staying consistent. Staying consistent and staying disciplined in what you want to do. And not always doing something to look for instant gratification. Which is so hard to do because I struggle with that every single day. But I just want to come on here and to be like, just like a words of encouragement. I battle through it every single day of just like on Saturdays and Sundays. I just want to sleep. Like, I don't know y'all. Like, whatever comes over me Saturday and Sundays, I just want to sleep. And then I thought about it this Saturday. I'm like, but I don't get it. Because if it was Monday, at this very hour, I would have been working. And I would have been up. So now why all of a sudden I'm sleepy? You know, it's all just a mind tricks. It's, it's a mind game. And it's something where you, it's hard. I know it is so hard, but only you can overcome that. No one can help you with that, like no one at all. Trust me, I've been there and I, and I know, and I still battle with it. No one can help you with yourself. To try your best to get out the rat race is only you. You have to want it for yourself and you have to, to have the will to be disciplined. Even when your mind says, I don't wanna do this right now. 
I, I do not want to research on this product or, or I don't want to research on this business idea or I like, and even when it comes to risk, you know, you have to risk. Everyone that became successful in what they do and reach like beyond they can imagine, they risked. They risked. They took a lot of risk, and and it was probably very a very scary situation to be in because you're unsure. But listen, take the risk instead of spending your money on clothes or going to the bar or having fun. Like take that money and do something with it. Like the average person. The average broke, I say broke person, poor person, they would literally spend their lives on clothes, on cars, on things that at, at the end of the day, it doesn't, it doesn't bring you any value. It doesn't have any value. They would rather spend it on that. And if you tell them, okay, listen, I have a business idea. You can give me $800, right? If it goes good, then okay, you will get X amount of profit. If it goes bad, then you lose your money. You know, they, they would not... They would rather take the eight hundred dollars to buy clothes. That's a poor mindset. Don't have a poor mindset. Do not. That is a poor mind, a poor mind, man mindset to have, and don't be like that. You know. So always, always find ways to be better at whatever you do. I always say, like, even if you have, like, a, let's say you have a 9 to 5 job. Every one 9 to 5 job should be something that you find yourself doing in the long haul, in the future. If not, you shouldn't be there. Once you get on a 9 to, on, on a nine to 5 job, whether, I don't care what it is, whether it's office, whether it's child care, whether it's security, be the best at it. Do the, be the best and do the research. And continue to gain knowledge and whatever you do. Before you know it, listen, you'll own the company. You will own the company. I always tell my husband, I say, there's only one thing you need to do. My child is autistic. And I say, he only needs to do one thing. One thing in life. He only needs to be good, great at one, just one thing. Society makes us feel as though we have to do 10 things that's why when we go in high school it's we have 10 subjects 14 subjects in a day no we only need one thing i think only literature and maths and a little a little a little of maths but literature and language yeah you need to communicate and you need to um be able to read or write everything else only if it's something that like like science basic things but you only need to be great at something. Look at Floyd Mayweather. He was illiterate. But I guess one thing. I know I know one thing he's gonna knock you out. And that's the one thing he's good at. When you look at all the ball, all the basketball players, LeBron, like they were just really great at one thing and they and they find that something from they were young, maybe six years old, eight years old, and that was it. It was history. They just keep practicing and working on their craft. One thing, don't ever make society make you feel as though oh, you're stupid in this or you're dumb in this. No, you wasn't meant to be like you wasn't meant to be a jack of all trades. You were meant to master one, master one thing, and then go to your neighbors and spend the money and helping them with things that they are experts in. That's where I feel like that's how the world should be. You know, you master one thing, and if you need assistance with something, then you go to an expert. You wasn't meant to know everything. You don't need to know everything to be successful in life or, and to, to really make like, to be successful and to really like make incomes in, in this world, you only need one thing. That's it. I used to, you know, I used to, and that's one thing I really wish I could have like turned back on, but I know at the end of the day, you can't have any excuses or like you can like, look back at what you've done and change things. But honestly, I wish I just to stick to one thing. I used to always, every month I'm changing this. One day I'm a nail tech, the next day I wanna do hair, the next day um, I'm business administration, the next day I'm this, the next day I'm on, uh, I'm selling clothes, the next, like if I just to stick to one thing, <laughs> at the age of uh, at least 18, I would have been good. <laughs> like, I would have been good. 
instead of just being all over, all over the place, you know? And especially in my country, like a lot of us, we, the minute one person say, oh, um, I'm going into photography. Now the friend want to go in photography. Everybody want to do what they hear other people do. No, just do what you want to do and be great at it. Anything can make money. I heard a story about a person that cut grass, became a multi-billionaire grass company, like landscaping company. What are you talking about? Cutting grass, you can't make money cutting grass. You can make money doing everything once you master something. Don't ever let anyone tell you that doesn't make money. That's impossible. If you master something, you become great at it. Everybody will come to you for that. Every single body and you will be a billionaire. And that's all I have to say for this video, you know, just for some words of encouragement. I'm in the same boat, you know, I'm a nine to five worker as well, but you have to see where you want yourself in the future and have faith in that and continue to work towards that. Even though like your current situation, it doesn't, it doesn't look so, it doesn't look so. You still have to see beyond that. And um, that's all I have for this video. I hope you all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.